Welcome to my impressions video for GTA 5. Now, some might call this a review. I don't, because I'm not going to give it a grade, because it's very opinionated on grading things. Some people like the worst games in the world, some people hate the best games in the world, and it all boils down to opinion. And I'm not trying to force an opinion on someone, I'm just trying to give you an overview of what I thought about the game. And, uh, first I guess we'll start out with my history, or first we'll start out by saying this is not my footage I recorded. I don't have a way to record footage, so I just downloaded it off YouTube. I will put a link in the description below of the footage I used. If you like their channel, definitely sub it. Um, as I'm recording this, I haven't downloaded anything yet, so I really can't say whose I'm going to use, but hopefully it's good. But first off, I want to start with my history with the series. Um, it goes back to around the first game. Uh, they were promoting the second game when I uh, wanted to get the first one. And it's the first game I was never allowed to play, or not supposed to. Um, but I remember reading all these reviews in, like, what was that one magazine? Game Tips and Tricks or something like that? Gamers Tips and Tricks or something like that. And I saw the preview for Grand Theft Auto 2. And I was like, okay, this looks awesome. I'm going to get the first one. So <laughs> what I did, and uh, it's kind of bad, but I tricked my grandma into thinking that Grand Theft Auto was based on the Ron Howard movie from the 70s. So that's how I got it. And I didn't get the original one. I got the director's cut one that came with London 1969 in it. And, um, yeah, that got taken away, like, the next week when my grandma talked to my mom. But I did get it back when I was like, 13 or 14 because she'd forgotten about it and I knew where she hid it so there was no big surprise there <clears throat> but anyways I've rambled on for like two minutes about nothing so let's get down to the game my first complaint with the game and it's a very very minor complaint and I I'm probably the only one with this complaint and that's its name in my opinion this should have been called Grand Theft Auto San Andreas 2 because all the Grand Theft Autos that have numbers in front of them are in Liberty City. With the exception of the first two, they had all three cities in them. But still, I, I really do think this should have been called San Andreas 2. Minor complaint, and I know it's totally out there, but there's that. At least I got that out of the way. And um, just, this is all scribbled on paper, so at least the first four things will kind of fit, blend together. But everything else will kind of be scatterbrained. And... Well, first, we'll do the characters, I guess. I thought Franklin was my least favorite by far, and he felt a little underdeveloped. Either that, or it might have just been the other two being, like, such amazing characters. But in the 80-plus hours I've put in so far, I have only have, like, 22 hours on Franklin. <laughs> so, yeah, he's definitely not my favorite. He's, he's still a good character, but I think they could have done a lot more with him. Now, Michael, and this is my personal favorite, and, uh, the weirdest thing is, he's like Tony Soprano, like, literally, if you watch The Sopranos, minus the fact that Tony Soprano is in the Mafia, they pretty much have that down to a T, too. Kids that don't listen, an angry wife, seeing a therapist, hating his life, it's, minus him passing out, it has, that's basically a Tony Soprano clone. Now to the most controversial character, which is Trevor. Um, oddly enough, I, I really love Trevor, too. He's really, really funny. Like, unbelievably so, in a sick, sick, sardonic way. But still, he's, he's very funny. And I quite like playing as him, especially when you're not doing missions, because you'll switch to his character, and he'll just be, like, on a mountain in a dress and be like, ugh, if there was anyone else, they'd think this was an alien abduction. And it just, it cracked me up. I, I love playing as Trevor. Now on to the missions will make up the meat of the game. Um, the, the missions were very, very well done, in my opinion. They were varied, they were deep, and that's not even get, I'll get to the heist in a minute, but like, they're just so well done, it's almost hard to believe that these came out of this game, because they're just... Usually in GTA games, you get the kind of sillier missions, and there's definitely a good handful of silly ones in this, but they were just so well written and played out that I, I loved them. 
and the heist were a fresh and awesome addition to this game. A lot of people complained that there weren't enough heists, and I'll, I'll agree with that on, to a degree, but I thought they fit in where they needed to be in the story. I mean, it would feel kind of weird in the story if they were just consistently pulling off heists, and even though some of them were technically, like, robbing banks and stuff, they were still very fun, and I really, really enjoyed them. And the Strangers and Freak missions were just so cool, too. Uh, what's a good one? Uh, that one guy, I uh, can't remember his name, but he's petitioning to get weed legalized, and he lets you, uh, Trevor, sample it, and he just sends you on to a trippy, 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 like, freak show, which I really enjoyed. Now, the random missions are where I find this game just kind of blew me away, because you're just driving along and you see something happening. Like, for instance, I drive up and there's this naked man on top of this woman, not raping her, but he's just like yelling at her that she's a millennial and technology is evil, and then you shoot him, and I kicked him over, and he's actually naked, naked, like you could see everything, and that was just started cracking up so hard at that, and I thought those were very well done, and the missions in general in this game are very memorable, like, I don't think I'll ever forget them. So, that's enough with the missions now, and uh, let's go on to the map. Disappointed in the map, uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, when I first got the game, which was day one, the most disappointing thing was, I, you know, I was unlocking pieces of the map, and I was looking for San Fierro and Las Venturas, and they were just missing, and being San Andreas, I was, I didn't expect them not to do that, not to add those in, because, like with 4, well, there's a lot of problems with 4, and definitely not one of my favorite Grand Theft Autos. They added onto the map, they made it bigger and kept all the same places, and while technically this map is bigger than San Andreas, it still feels like it's missing those vital parts, e even though uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 kept them all and even added one, which Broker I think it was? Yeah, Broker. Or, yeah, I want to say Broker. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the names. But the map was still amazing. It was huge, detailed, and everything you could want in a Grand Theft Auto map, it was there. And the deserts and mountains were just amazing, and just so freaking beautiful to just drive around and look at. Alright, so now on to the cars. A lot of good cars in this game, a lot of interesting choices, but I, I like them. Now... You know, that's pretty much all I'm going to say, um, because, eh, they're GTA cars, they're, they're cool and stuff, but you just really can't ramble on about them for too long. Now, here's the controversy. A lot of people said, and while this is true, that they handled better than GTA 4, which in my opinion is some of the worst driving in video games ever, um, still love the game to death, but wow. You know, the driving in this one is much improved, but I really just wish they'd go back to the way it was in GTA 3 by City and San Andreas. I mean, they're just way overcomplicating the driving more than it needs to be for a Grand Theft Auto open world game, in my opinion. But it's still a lot better and fun to play. It, it doesn't make you, like, go, oh no, I'm being horrible. It just, it can get at you sometimes. And another controversial topic, the helicopter and plane mechanics. Now, I'll agree on this happily. I agree that the helicopters were fucking awful in this game. Um, they were meant to be that way, and I think that's the problem. They tried to make them way too realistic for a 360 controller to handle. And I, just, I dread flying the helicopter. However, when people say the planes are bad to handle, don't particularly understand that. I thought the planes handled great in this game. Never had trouble flying them or anything. Maybe I'm just one of the miscellaneous few that's really good at it, but I really, really loved how the planes handled in this game. And, uh, so we'll go on to the graphics now. Um, the graphics, to me, they, they seemed better, but not head over heels better. I mean, they're pretty good, but... I think the biggest thing that makes this game look amazing 
is hands down the lighting effects. The lighting effects in this game are some of the best I've ever seen. This and Red Dead Redemption are way up there in lighting effects. They're just so great. And I love them. Um, it's a great looking game too. And be, pre be prepared for like what was it, about 15 or 16 gig install if you're going to install both discs. Uh, I actually had pre-ordered the PS3 version, but canceled that at the last minute to get the 360 version because apparently the PS3 I have does not like to run that game right. I have the, I don't know, I got it in 2009 brand new, so I don't know what model that is. Alright, so, we'll get on to the special abilities. Um, I like them. They, uh, which, which one was that? Michaels I didn't really find myself using a lot. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm pretty good at the GTA gun mechanics and I didn't really need to slow it down. But I didn't use Michaels in a, uh, a whole awful lot. Now, Franklin's and Trevor's, I used a lot. Franklin's is probably my favorite. It just gets you out of tight spots when you're driving around, and it really helps. And Trevor's is good if you're on low health and you need to kill some people to get out of your way to get going wherever you're going. So that was very good. Again, this is where the scatterbrainness comes, because I just kind of threw it all on paper. The radio and weapon wheel, <laughs> I did not understand them at first, I feel stupid in saying that, because the manual in that game was pretty much non-existent, you had to go online to get it, but you, at first I just thought you had to click the radio thing like in Vice City and just keep going back and going back, then I held it one time and was like, oh crap, it's all there, and same with the gun, so I feel really stupid about that, but it... It's it's a really cool thing, and I hope they keep that in future Grand Theft Autos. Um, On to the radio. Ooh, as a rock fan, this one disappointed. Um, radio X was great. Um, as a punk rock fan, I loved that station. A lot of great bands that just don't get enough airplay, like TSOL and Bad, not Bad Brains, Black Flag and stuff like that. So that one was great, but on the classic rock... <sighs> Like, half of it was good, or a third of it was good, and a third of it was pop music from the 70s and 80s. I didn't get it. Um, I like the songs because I'm a huge fan of 70s and 80s, but that would have been great for another station and then just have one with some classic rock on it. That would have been awesome. And I, qu I quite liked the other rock station. I um, can't remember the name of it, but it had a quite a few smaller bands that not a lot of people have heard of. And the music on there was... Again, about half good, half garbage, but it was still good. And it's always the talk radio, which is, ooh, I forget what the WTTC or something like that, maybe? I'm, I know I'm getting that wrong. And then Blaine County, which I swear is some of the funniest stuff I've heard in the GTA one. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, where was I at? Activities very good in this game. Um, there were some oddball choices in there, like yoga, which is, it was okay, but I felt that if they would have kept that and added another one, it wouldn't have been as bad, but eh. And the golf is the one I really didn't like at all, simply because I actually do like golf games, realistic ones like Tiger Woods and stuff, and it was more like Hot Shots Golf, which I suck. I love it, but I suck at it. And so I just, I thought they could have done better on that one. Oh, I'm missing some other ones. Uh, parachuting, that was really I fun. When you unlock a certain mission strand through uh, Franklin, you open up all these places across town. And it's actually quite a fun little activity. And then there's tennis, there's the gun range, and there's a few other things like races and stuff like that. The triathlon, which I did not expect to like, but the triathlon is actually really fun. Okay, now on to customization. Uh, there's a lot of customization options in this game, which was severely lacking in 4. Um, it was weird playing 4 for the first time, because San Andreas is hands down, it's still my favorite GTA, this one's the second. Close, close second. But it was weird, it's like they took everything that made San Andreas great and removed it from 4, and basically made 4 Grand Theft Auto 3 with updated graphics, and 
I, I don't know. I Four kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So, but anyways, the customization is completely back in this game. I think they could have done more with hairstyles for Trevor and Michael, because there's a lot for Franklin, and like two or three, or three or four for Trevor and Michael, and it's just not enough to keep you interested in doing that, but then you got the tattoos are back, the car customization, which is pretty damn amazing, that's back, uh, clothing's back, um, the clothing's decent, but it's, it's definitely better than four, but it, it leaves a little to be desired. All right, now on to hang out, hanging out with uh, your friends in the game, like Michael and Trevor. That I found really fun, especially in this game. Like, in, it's not always, hey, Nico, you want to go bowling? It's not that anymore. You can actually call them, hang out. And what I found fun was calling Michael and calling Trevor, or, you know, if I'm playing as Franklin, and just causing havoc with all three of them. It, it was really, really fun. Just very, very, very fun. I can't stress that enough. Um, another small gripe, and I know this is a glitch, and I hope it's fixed, because this thing ate a lot of my freaking money in this game. And that's cars disappear in garages. Whatever reason. Like, it's weird. Sometimes they stay there for a little bit, and sometimes they're gone immediately. But I literally lost at least three or four million dollars doing that, so that kind of sucked. Alright, so now on to wildlife. Never has wildlife scared me this much in games. Because uh, if you get hit by one of the mountain lions when you're climbing the mountain, they kill you. You're swimming in the ocean and you get hit by a shark, they kill you. And they don't do it nicely. They, they bite the living shit out of you. So, but it, it, and that's where it kind of makes it awesome in my opinion. It's kind of like, I don't know how to put it kind of keeps you on your toes instead of just completely messing around the whole time. And, it, and I don't want to say a mini game because it's really not, but it's really fun. And the ocean. Oh my god, don't get me started on the ocean. The ocean is just so awesome. It, you get in that little... You, get, you, you can either get the scuba diving... Stiving, uh, yeah, I can't even talk. Scuba diving gear. Or use the submarine. The little yellow submarine. <laughs> And you can, it's just massive, and you're down there, and you're like, holy crap, I'm underwater, and you don't even think you're in the game at that point, it's total immersion at that point, and it's, it's one of those rare moments in a video game where that actually happens, and I just, that's one of those moments that will stick with me forever and ever and ever. Now, speaking of, going back to wildlife real fast, what I love, another thing I love about the wildlife is, it's random. Like, I was flying down a dirt road in my Infernus that I just spent, like, 20000 on upgrading. And this is before the last job where you get all the money. So it was a nice investment. I'm flying down a dirt road, and a cow just, like, magically appears, and BAM! Wrecks my Infernus. Like, made me flip, like, three times in the air. And it was nuts. Well, it didn't completely wreck my furnace, but it did a good amount of damage. But, yeah, that's that. And another thing I love about this game is are the cops. I thought before it was ingenious to have it to where you could outrun their little circle. Because basically in GTA games before that, you had to get stars, or the hidden stars around the map, to lose the one level, or go to a pay and spray. Which, that was fun. But 4 inter made me love the cop chases, like, absolutely love them to see if I can get outside of their circle. And this game takes it to the next level. Like, you can seriously hide from them anywhere. Now, granted, you won't always get away from that, but it's, it's just really, really cool. I love how the cops are done in this game, and I cannot praise that enough. Um, on the other hand, they are kind of little bitches in this game. They get mad over everything. Like, you baby bump the back of their car, you better be prepared to run. Because they do not like that. Or if you flip them off, they don't like that either. And you better run. Another addition I liked is what I like to call faceplant feature. And if you, you know what I'm talking about. 
if you played this game, you you know what I'm talking about. You can literally jump up, hit a button, and just like fall straight forward in midair into anything. It's really fun and funny to do off cliffs if you're just bored, <laughs> like drive up or climb up or drive up a mountain, whichever one you're doing, and fly. And just get to the top of it and jump off and then hit that button and watch your guy just freaking roll and roll and roll. It's a blast and I cannot suggest it enough. It, it's really funny. Um, another thing I was happy to see back were the RPG elements. Very, very light, but they were still there. And by that I mean you could upgrade your abilities like driving, your lung capacity, basically... San, what they did in San Andreas, that's back now, and I, I really love that feature. One thing I, I was kind of missing, and I might be the only one that was missing this, was getting fat, losing weight, and getting buff in the in San Andreas. I loved that feature, and I don't know why I didn't make a return in this one. I thought it would have been very interesting in how missions play out sometimes. Because if you're fat, you're not you're going to get tired running faster, so I thought that would have been cool. Oh, and the improved health. This health system, I love it. In previous Grand Theft Autos, you get messed up, you, you don't get that health back, no matter how far down you get. Now, if you lose half your health in this game, more than half, if you stand idly by, it'll regenerate fairly fast, and it, I do believe you can do it in cover. I know you can do it in a car, <coughs> but... I'm not 100% sure on that one, but yeah, so that was really cool, and a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of things, the big thing getting around is the torture scene, along with another thing I'm going to talk, talk about, um, didn't particularly find it disturbing, I know it is, but it fits the character, it fits the story, it makes you hate the guy doing it more, or the guy ordering you to do it more. And I thought it really made you want this guy dead fast more than anything. So, it didn't bother me. It actually kind of made me want to kill the guy that made me do it more. So, granted, Trevor enjoyed it, but it's Trevor. What did you expect? And um, another controversy flying around this is the sexism and misogyny. I did not see that in this game. Um, to be quite honest, I know some of you were looking at me like, what? And my thought on that is, this game does not depict anyone in a good light, man or woman. If anything, it's anti-people and how dumb we are. And, you know, I just don't find it sexist. If anything, I find it anti-Earth people. That's a good one, anti-Earth people. And the violence in this game is another thing getting around, and... It's... I don't see it. I mean... How is this considered more violent than a first-person shooter? I don't know. I mean, with that, you pretty much mowing down people in the droves. Here, it's just kind of whenever you want to. But, again, to each his own. And what I really love about this game is the satire humor on the radio. And sometimes in the game. I thought overall as the game, it was more of a social statement than satire. Um, and it, don't get me wrong, an exaggerated social statement on people. But nonetheless, a social statement, and satire is pretty much left for the commercials with, like, legalized cocaine <laughs> and, uh, smokeless drugs, like the smokeless cigarettes. No, I thought that was funny, too. And another great thing I love about this game is the no need for cheats, really, which is refreshing, in my opinion. I never once felt the need to activate a health cheat or a gun cheat, pretty much, because... Like, if you do all the heist, you can unlock, in the game in general, you unlock these guns, and you buy them, and you don't lose them, you don't lose their ammo unless you get busted. Ammo is pretty damn cheap in this game, and the money is abundant from pretty much the beginning of this game, so I did not find really a need for any of the cheats. There's a few I did try that were just like the funny ones, like the explosive fist, and that one was funny. Um... I know they released, they released a couple ones a little while ago, I don't know which ones they were, but I haven't tried them out yet. I do plan on trying them out, but anyways, that is my impressions on Grand Theft Auto V. 
and it's probably one of the better games out this generation and you know it was just such a pleasure to play it I I can't recommend this game enough to anyone even if you hate open world games I'm sure you'll love it and I guess that's pretty much it and uh, again if you don't have this game at least buy it to try it because it's it's really a fantastic game but anyways I hope you like my impressions video uh, more videos will be coming soon haven't had a lot of free time to make anything or really do anything on the internet at all so this will probably be my last video for at least another week maybe two but again thanks for watching stay safe and stay gaming